Okay, once again, what was the idea behind the motherboard daughter board configuration? The board you just saw was a daughter board, by the way, which, as I said, had a 386 variant and a 486 variant. It didn't really get to 586 production, although a few development modules were made and a few development boards were manufactured, but AST figured, mm, well, that's not really a good idea. Now, if you're anyway PC savvy, this picture you're seeing at the moment will probably tell you why. Well, architecture in computers changes rapidly. Now, on the other 486 machine that I have from AST, you'll notice that the slots here are of a strange brown configuration. Now, I won't tell you what that is just yet. In the later video, we'll explain what the brown ones really were. But in this configuration, what you have here is you have a standard 8-bit slot from ISA. You have 16-bit slots. Now, what makes these 16 and these 8? Well, 16 bits... That's 8 as far as there, and this makes it 16. Now, a lot of people say, what the friggin' hell are bits, and what the friggin' hell does it matter? Well, your new computer that you probably have, and you're probably viewing this video, is probably of a 64-bit configuration, or 32-bit configuration, depending on how much money you have in the bank. This is 16-bit configuration. These slots here are actually 32-bit configuration. The difference is... 16-bit equals 16 lanes of information. 32 equals 32-bit lanes of information. So, in layman's terms, with a 16, you can send 16 bits of information either direction, or with 32, you can send it either direction. Now, as architecture has improved, this has improved to 64 both directions at once, uh, 32 both directions at once, and so on and so forth. Every board is different in the way it executes these commands. Every board architecture slightly varies. I know people are going to criticize me and say, well that's not right, or this is not right. Well, it's my video and I can tell you what's true and what's not if I want to. Okay. <laughs> they are 16-bit slots, by the way. These slots here aren't VLB, by the way. They are actually unique to AST. Um, as far as I'm aware, I haven't seen them in any other machine. I've worked on a lot of computers, never seen them anywhere else but on the AST computer. The idea behind them was simply for the AST cards that AST manufactured. AST didn't always manufacture just the actual daughter board. They also had uh, add-in memory cards. So if your computer, like this one here, as far as I know, can only take up to a maximum of 8 megabytes. Although some people say 16. Uh, either way, if you wanted to get it to 32, you had to buy an extra add-in card which stuck in here and here. Now, some people may remember the VLB cards, uh, which is... Uh, a video bus standard that went between the ISA standard, which was very slow, and the newer PCI standard, which is a white slot. Um, I'll show you that in this computer here in a couple of minutes. The difference is, with the 16, and you have a video card on it, it can be very, very slow, especially for graphics-intensive programs. So, to improve the quality, they invented a 32-bit slot, which is fairly similar to these guys, um, but it's, you know, it's missing this end piece. Okay, now I'll show you a VLB card in a few minutes from um, ATI, but we'll wait for a minute. Now, this computer had a video card plugged into it, as you may have noticed, there's a card now missing from up here. Well, the motherboard actually contains a built-in video card. Um, this is the actual position of it up here. Now, I'm going to try to zoom into the frame. Um, and basically, that main chip that's up there is actually from Western, this one up here, okay? Get my big thick hands out of the way, this one. Okay, I'll use a screwdriver. It should be easier to see it with that. This car, this particular chip here. This chip here is a Western Digital Paradise. Now, the actual RAM for this is also on the board. Um, I think it's, it's hidden under there somewhere. Um, I can't see it at the minute. I know it's there. But it only has 256k of RAM anyway. That's all it actually has. Um, I can't see it at the moment, unfortunately. Um, it's, it's, and I won't stare me in the face there, but it, it is there. This is um, this particular computer, of course, has all its own manufactured chips because AST were big into manufacturing. And so, you know, you can see most of the chips are AST branded. And they're a bit out of focus there. As you can see, most of the chips are, as I said, AST branded. This particular set of chips here, by the way, these four white chips here are the BIOS. So the four chips here actually ran the BIOS of this computer. Um, when you put in the new daughter board, which sat in this slot and sat in this slot at the same time, you had to upgrade the BIOS because the new BIOS would then be able to understand the 486 chip, whereas the old BIOS wouldn't be able to. 
just again this is the bonus chips here these four fellas here okay uh, ASD computer you can look it up on Wikipedia if you like it's actually somebody said they once it meant American systems technology but it actually is the three uh, surnames of the three people who actually um, established the company that's the word I'm looking for okay we're gonna move on a little bit further here this big box here by the way this massive big thing here is actually a power supply for the computer this power supply is only a hundred and 10 watt or something like that, nothing, nothing major coming out of that, you know. Um, actually, this was a two, 220, actually, this one is, come to think, not, not, not a 115. I do have smaller ones, I do have bigger ones. If anybody wants one of these, by the way, let us know. I have a whole load of them from old ASTs that dismantled along the way. Um, people probably would like to buy them now, but at the time I had to dump them because I had about, I'd say, 20 of these ASD computers at one stage. Um, I never kept any of the boards out of them. I never kept any of the uh, daughter boards out of them, and I never kept any. Of, I never. I only ever kept out them as extra power supplies. Looking back now, you're probably thinking, "What an idiot!" But at the time, things were moving on. It's a very unique design with this daughter board, motherboard configuration. I figured, who the freaking hell is going to have an AST that'll actually let me do it? Um, okay, now this particular video is going to go on for ten minutes. We might as well make it do that. This is going to be the part two video. What we have uh, over here, by the way, is a, is a B drive, a B floppy drive. Um, now, there are in other videos on YouTube here, so there's no point in me showing it. I just noticed there's a big mark on my hand. Look at that. Ooh, you should see my face. It's even worse. Um, okay. Now, uh, well, that's really it. That's all I can show you in this computer, I think. Um, nothing else of interest here. So... Moving swiftly along, we'll have a quick look at a more modern machine. We'll just show you a, a quick look at what the differences are in it, okay?